During this lecture, we're going to take a look at modifying our worksheet, or more accurately, modifying our spreadsheet and the structure of that spreadsheet. Now, in the case of a monthly budget, right now I've only got three months worth of data. Well, there's 12 months in the year. So I want to be able to add, let's see, I got January, February, March. I need to add April and May and June and so on. Well, right now I haven't accommodated for those additional months. So I need to be able to add additional columns between March and my total. Or how about rows? Maybe I've got new bills that show up and I need to add rows for additional bills here. Or maybe I need to do the opposite. I need to be able to remove columns or remove rows. So we'll talk about modifying the structure of the spreadsheet by adding additional columns and rows as well as deleting them. Take a look. This is a really quick, simple process. Let's think about columns first. I need to add additional months here. Let's do one column first. So my first step, I know that I want to add a column between March and total. By default, when you add something like a column into Excel, it goes to the left of whatever you have selected. So in this case, I'm going to select column E. I want to add a column to the left of the E column. Now with the E column selected there, and I just clicked on the header, I'm now going to use a shortcut key. I'm going to use control plus, and I'm using the plus sign on my number pad on the far right of my keyboard. Now if you've got a laptop that doesn't have a full keyboard, doesn't have a number pad, just a keyboard that doesn't have a number pad, then you can do control shift and the plus key at the top of your keyboard. Either way, control plus on your number pad or control shift plus at the top of your keyboard. Either way. So I'm going to hit control plus and this will add an additional column. And now I can finish this off. We'll say I've now got January, February, March, April. Uh, 2016 there we go very nice and I can start entering the data maybe copy the formulas over using the autofill command I'll just copy I'm gonna zero because I don't have any values in there I'll grab these four down here because I want to get the min max and average and count just autofill them over and I've got my new column there really simple click on a column such as the F for E column control plus you got a column now Maybe there's additional months that I want to add here. So this is pretty neat. Take a look. I can select multiple columns. So now I've got F through I selected. Just click and drag on the column headers. One, two, three, four columns that are highlighted now. Now what do you think is going to happen if I hit Control Plus on my keyboard? Let's try it. I'm going to hit Control Plus. I've now got four new columns there. Very slick. Remember the autofill feature? Hmm? I, I, I did that with formulas over there. Click, grab that little box in the corner, drag it. Watch this. I'm going to try it out on my months. Let's see what happens here. I'll grab that little box in the corner. I'm on cell E4 where I got my April 2016. And I'm going to drag it over. And look at that. I don't have to type it in. There's May, June, July, and August. I'm done. Now I can do the same thing with my formulas. Just drag those over, get them all set up for these additional columns that I've now added. Highlight a group of columns, hit Control plus, you've got that many columns added to your worksheet. Same with rows. If I want to add a row, I just click on a row, like row seven here, hit Control plus, I've now got a new row in there for an additional bill. What if I want to add multiple bills in here? Well, you highlight multiple rows, hit Control plus, and now you've got that many rows. So really simple to be able to modify your worksheet's data structure by adding columns and rows. Now it's just up to you to fill in the data. Now let's think about this for a moment. This was adding. What if I want to delete content? I want to get rid of a few columns or I want to get rid of a few rows. What do you think? What could you do? You know what? I don't need all these additional bills. Who needs bills? Let's get rid of that. Psh, don't need them. So I want to delete 7 through 11. Let's get rid of those rows. Well, Control Plus added some. What do you think is going to delete them? Control Minus. So I'll hit, hold down my Control key, hit the Minus key, and I've now deleted those additional rows. Same with columns. I'll highlight E through I. I'm going to hit Control Minus, and I've now deleted those columns. So really simple. 
Control plus to add them, control minus to delete them. Just make sure you're highlighting the correct data first. So try it out. Open up your monthly budget that you've been building or the exercise file and add some columns, add some rows, whatever you like to do there. Get a feel for manipulating the structure of the spreadsheet through adding columns and rows.